Hi, I'm Heidi Borchers. I discovered over 30 years ago how to make really cool jewelry using window screen. You can shape it, you can cut it, you can do all kinds of shapes with it. Let me show you how. Years ago when I first started there was just the metal screening. Now there's like a plastic screening which works really cool for other projects but I really like the metal screen for this project. And all you have to do is just cut it with scissors. Use old scissors because you're cutting metal. And to cut the bead shapes, I'm just using a rectangle. And this, the width of it, this width right here, determines how big the bead's going to be. It's going to be about an inch and a quarter. Now I take a metal knitting needle to roll my metal screen, and I just roll it over the knitting needle as tight as I can. And it does tend to kind of wiggle and I like that in my finished piece. And just keep rolling it. And I think I want to cut it off a little bit. I think we got a little bit too long there. So just cut it off and continue rolling it. And the nice thing about the metal is it just sticks together. Now here's the challenge I found many years ago is I had little edges here that wouldn't work in the jewelry making process because they stuck out and you couldn't uh, you couldn't wear it. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the original Aline's Tacky Glue in the gold bottle and we're going to cover up all those edges. If you have any excess pieces, just take them off. Now what I like to do to kind of speed it up and make sure that my glue is going to stay, I use a hair dryer to just get a film over the glue so it doesn't move. Then what I do is I pin it to the side of a box and let it dangle so that it can dry without setting on the table. If I set it on the table, the glue here is going to stick to the table and it's going to be flat. Now sometimes it'll drip a little bit. If it drips, just take a toothpick and just fix it. But it, again, it helps if you put a hair dryer on it to um, get the film to dry. Next, we're going to let it dry until the glue is clear. After the glue dries and it's clear, Check your pieces to make sure none of the pieces are poking out, none of the metal pieces are poking out. Like on this one, see how the glue kind of fell? So just put another coat of glue on and let it dry. Now this one's completely dry, so I'm ready to paint it. And I'm just using a metallic acrylic paint and just painting over the whole thing. And you can paint it any color. I just thought that the silver was really pretty. Completely paint it. Get the edges and then set it aside to dry. Now we're ready to string the screen bead and all I do is put some beads, some small beads, onto beading wire and just thread it through and sometimes because of your opening, because you don't know how um, much the glue has dried, you ha might have to even push them in a little bit or open the hole, but I like to cage those in like that, put a big bead on either side and then that way the little ones won't come out and the bead stays where it is. And that's the beginning of your necklace. So you can see how the little beads are caged in. I have the big bead on either side and then a few beads in between. And then all you do is put a clasp on the end of it and you have a beautiful necklace that you can brag about that is made out of window screen. The window screen beads are really lightweight, but in order for the necklace to hang better, I did use all glass beads. I think it'd be really cool if I wore like four or five of these on this black shirt. I'm Nico Heidi and I think it's cool to craft.